Hello everyone. Today, uh, since we've been doing gluten-free recipes, today I'm going to show you another very easy recipe. And when I say this is easy, this is very easy. A basic, what you call gluten-free uh, quinoa bread. And it's like a flatbread, but so fun to have and so fun to eat, especially if you have those problems where you have either celiac disease or uh, you just can't digest gluten, right? And gluten is in everything. It's in pasta. It's in... Um, it's in bread, it's, uh, you know, if, especially like vegan sausages, if you're using glu uh, vital wheat gluten, gluten's in there. So a lot of people can't tolerate the gluten and they really feel sick. So I'm going to show you how easy this recipe is. Basically, you need a blender. I'm going to use my Nutribullet because that's what I always have handy. Well, I might ja jazz this up just a little. Okay, we're going to start off with some quinoa. And we're going to start off with one cup of quinoa. I did preheat my oven and I have it at 430. Maybe just a little more. You know me, I can never get... Oh, this is good. Okay. So we're going to make this, of course, mushroom flavor. Why? Because I love mushrooms. And mushrooms have so many minerals. So you really don't need to... Uh, I mean, you can make it plain where basically you're going to use a cup of quinoa to a cup of water and uh, leave it at that. Or what you can do is uh, just maybe for flavor. But like I said, we're, gonna, we're not going to make this super plain, but I'm going to show you different recipes how I make this bread. And what I love about this bread is you have it handy. And if you want to munch, you just grab a little piece of this, maybe put some... Uh, delicious uh, you could put some delicious uh, avocado on top and it's a fast lunch an easy lunch and it's a very good lunch for you and don't forget high in protein right okay so we've got one cup of my um, quinoa and we're gonna put one cup water there we go and to this we're gonna add some salt and salt really depends on how much you want to use, right? Some people like the salt, some people not so much. And if you don't want to put the salt right into your batter, what you could do is maybe sprinkle salt on top later on. So we're going to add just a little bit of salt. I know, I'm never simple, right? I could just tell you add water and quinoa and you got yourself a recipe. But, you know, how good is that, right? So, here we go. We're going to wait for the garlic because you want to maybe... Well, you can actually put the garlic right into this if you want to. And then you can blitz it and get the flavor of garlic. Or if you want to see the little bits of garlic, then I'd say wait till the end. I will be doing that in the end. And simple. You can't get more simple than this. So remember, preheat your oven. I have it at 4.30 and I have convection bake. Here we go. I'm gonna add just a little bit of mushroom powder to this because I'm using shiitake and they are, shiitake is a strong flavoring mushroom. And I'm gonna put just one tablespoon of this. And don't forget, this is gonna add extra minerals to your uh, recipe um, so I am going to make this one as simple as I can get it just to show you but you'll see how delicious this really is so we're just going to blitz this and get it to a nice creamy texture okay now I'm using a uh, two color quinoa because that's what I had but you can use um, you can use uh, just plain, uh, the white one, or you could, if you want, you could just go for the dark one. It really is up to you. Remember, you're the chef in your kitchen, right? Okay, so here we go. A nice batter. And like I said, you really can't get it more simple than this. But then it's what you do to it that's going to just jazz it up and dress it up a little more, right? Okay. Trying to get as much as I can here without wasting. I 
hate to waste. Okay. Now to this we're going to crush some garlic. What I'm going to be using... Okay, I'm just going to put this away. There we go. I've got two cloves of garlic that I'm going to crush in. Like I said, if you don't want to crush the garlic inside your recipe, you can simply um, blitz it in when you're doing your batter. Of course, we're going to make this a nice rosemary and garlic flavor. And at this point, you could also taste it for salt. Very easy, guys. And I find that this quinoa binds itself just like if you're using a chickpea. Okay. Oh, well. We're going to put even the big pieces. Why not, right? Okay. I'm going to just take a chopstick because it makes it a lot easier for me to mix it. There we go. Uh, to this, there we go. Now, if you're okay with fat, you could even put a little bit of fat. I'm gonna put just a little drizzle of olive oil, and this is good olive oil, and that's not a lot, not much. There we go. We're gonna put to that, Sound like I've got marbles in my mouth. To that we will add, if I could get it open, here we go, some dry rosemary, and I'm gonna say about maybe a tablespoon, but really that is up to you how much you wanna use. But this is like a garlic, rosemary garlic flavor. And what's fun about this is you could actually turn this into like a pizza dough. So if you really can't handle the gluten, there's ways of making something delicious that you could actually eat, especially when you love bread. I'll tell you, I am and always was a bread lover. And if I don't have just a little bit of bread, sometimes I feel like I just haven't eaten. And like I said, I try to do as raw as I can, but I have some crutches such as bre uh, bread. That's one of my crutches. Uh, pasta when it's there sometimes I have it sometimes I don't but sometimes I get that craving and I have to have it so yeah it is what it is anyhow here it here's my beautiful pizza dish uh, get yourself well if you have a pizza dish you can use a pizza dish if you don't you can even use a pan or a tray but what I do advise is if you put a little bit of parchment on you now, do I have any that I've already used I do. Here we go. This only has a little bit of hot pepper, which is okay. And I am going to take this and spread it on top. Here we go. And if you taste this, it just tastes divine. Now you're just going to spread it out. You can make a square, you can make a round, that really is up to you. Now, do you want to leave your bread plain? Leave it plain. Do you want to jazz it up a little? I say go ahead and jazz it up. So you could put maybe, what I'm going to do is some black seeds. I should have used my other spatula. But I'm in the middle of editing a video for you guys. Yes, it's a cheese video. And it's a yummy one. So I'm in the middle of doing that. My daughter's gone up north. So I'm home alone. Hmm. I should be causing some trouble rather than just making recipes. Those days are gone when I used to cause some troubles. Okay, so here we go. Just spread it out as even as you can. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. 
I like it that it looks a little rustic anyhow. Now, the thinner you make it, the more crunchy it is. And if you want to go a little thicker, leave it a little thicker. So we're going to just jazz the top up a little and we're going to put it into the oven. It's a great uh, snack food too, especially if you go camping or hiking. My daughter and I make this and then we go for a nice little hike and we have some in our backpack. Okay. Mm. My God, it already tastes and it's not even cooked. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, remember this is depending how big you how thick you want it or how thin you want it I like it more thin than thick but that's okay you can do it how you like it there we go I've got a little bit of black seeds they smell like onion they're delicious there we go now if you want you could either put more rosemary on top or you can put more garlic. That really is up to you. Maybe just crush it a little. And of course, because I love to eat spicy, guys, we're going to put... A little bit of chili flakes but if you don't want chili flakes you can leave it out there we go just a little extra right there so I'm putting this in the oven for 15 minutes and then we're gonna flip it over and do the other side See you in a bit, guys. Okay, look how beautiful it's looking, guys. I have to be careful not to burn myself. Okay, so this is very easily flipped over. So you could just grab it on one side. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Let's try not to burn yourself, guys. Let me get my spatula. Here we go. Little guide, and there it goes. What you could do is just a little bit of olive oil on top, and it goes back into the oven again. And you're going to put it for another 15 minutes, depending on how crunchy you want your bread. Back in, it goes. All right, guys. There is the bread. Now, like I said, I use the half black, half white, uh, but you can use all white or you can use all black. It really is up to you. And I'm just gonna cut it now that it's hot. Now, if you wanna make a pizza, of course, you're gonna leave it the way it is and just dress her up. And how, um, how crumbly or how soft is really up to you. If you want to use this to make wraps, you make them nice and thin and you don't keep them in as long. But these are really a nice delight. My daughter and I go crazy for these. For this. And it's just fun. Something fun to throw in a knapsack. Well, for us, anyhow, we're out every day sometimes you just get the munchies okay so there you go very simple very delicious and you can like i said if you want it even more like a cracker keep it in longer i did add a little extra uh, time to mine so i did 15 and then i did 15 and i did another 10 minutes 
because we like it a little more crunchy, but that really is up to you. But I'm gonna show you other recipes, how you can utilize this, uh, this beautiful quinoa and make loads of beautiful recipes with it. So there you go. like bread guys mmm so good so there you go guys I hope you like this recipe very simple very delicious and you can make loads of this bread and just keep it on hand keep it on the refrigerator if you're gonna eat one of these during the day you can leave it right on the counter it's moist if you open it up it's like you're having look at that like bread guys you could actually split this open and put stuff in there if you make it a little thicker but there you go a little bit of avocado maybe some sriracha on top because you know me I like it super hot but very easy to make and guess what it ain't gonna hurt your belly so thank you for coming by thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next bread recipe for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.